Hello everyone, welcome to Suni Art. This is Suni. Today I want to show you this um, simple painting. I call it light acrylic painting. I use the acrylic paint to imitate the watercolor effect. Okay, the color that I use um, are these six colors from my six, 16 color sets. Okay, so I will use this six color. I already write here. You can have a look. Okay. So I'll use ultramarine, dark purple, black, pine green, brown, and honey yellow. So remember, in this project, the water is our good friend. So I use plenty of water for this uh, project because uh, the water can create a watercolor feel. Okay, so I will paint on a wood piece. Before that, I already base coat with medium white. Okay, so the basic base coating on wood is you apply a layer of sealer first or you just directly apply Sunni Arts paint. No need to seal it, it's fine because I already, my supplier already mixed what, uh, some sealer into the paint. So apply one layer of the medium white, then sand, blow dry sand. After sanding, you have to apply another layer. Okay, so in this project, I use um, um, round brush number two. So you can use any brand of round brush you have. Now, let us start painting water. Okay, so all the color you won't use much, just a little bit only. Okay, so I will start painting the wood here first. I will use the um, honey yellow mix with some brown color you can have brown more or you can have the yellow more it's up to you okay just go straight then you see very casual no stress just follow the flow follow your heart then maybe i can have some before it dry i mix with some uh, uh, honey yellow then I can have some black color as a shadow okay maybe enough then after that you can blow dry okay so blow dry first Okay, after blow dry, we will paint this metal thing, okay? Okay, use black color. More water. Because it's painting, so I cannot paint every time the same. Okay, just, just paint straight line. Then here you can have some shape, anything. Okay, just use black color. Okay, so some of the part it can be darker, can be lighter, it's fine because it's watercolor effect. Then we can start drawing the flower pot using, um, I like to use this um, um, brown color, maybe here. Okay. How big is the flower pot is up to you, yeah? So no need to bother about the shape, the shape nice or not nice, it's just casual, okay? No need to be very precise. We are not doing fine art, okay? Then you can blend in with some of the honey yellow. Before it dry, you also can have some, let me see, some black color. Okay, then after that, also blow dry, okay? The blow dry, so we will paint uh, the leaf, okay? The leaf we're using pie green, just dot here, you see, just dab casually. Okay, I also blend in with some black color as a shadow. 
okay like hide like hiding inside just dab casually okay have no strokes it's very casual and relaxed okay you can have some here okay you can see clearly okay just dab okay then after that we do some we put in some ultramarine and purple you see i use a lot of water plenty of water okay can have more water like we make it like this watercolor feel okay just more water if you want the color very solid i mean very sharp color then you don't mix more uh, water if you want it more light color then you have you need to have more water okay just like that if too much you can soak using i mean you can dab away the color uh, with the with the cloth okay then i put some purple also a lot of water then you see the color is too much i pour right so you just use a little bit of color actually you won't use much here i can put in more solid green then i can have more solid i mean a uh, uh, purple more sharp purple see the watercolor effect feel very nice I, I love this effect then you're using the tip of the brush just paint some veins okay you can have some purple color or some blue color So it's up to you how much you want to add. Maybe here too much. You also can have some green color on top. I mean here you can have some green color like the leaves. Okay. Sometimes you have to tell yourself stop or else you will keep painting, keep painting. So the flower will become bigger and bigger. Okay. Then the pot will be very heavy. Okay. I think it's enough already okay then i use the brown color again don't mix with water to paint the string can make can add some black color see done already so very simple project right then you blow dry i will teach you how to put the stem i like to enhance my painting with this kind of stem okay wooden stem or acrylic stem okay so to make the painting more outstanding i like to have this one as a background so i will show you later after i blow dry okay i actually i don't like the wood just now too big so i already um i already touch up with the base color so the base color is important i just use the base color to touch up put back the base color and redo okay very simple so now we have to after blow dry we have to protect with one layer of um water-based varnish okay just protect first because if you make mistake on the stamping you can wipe off okay so the this layer of um, varnish is important just a thin layer one layer for protection okay then blow dry okay blow dry already now we are going to see what stem i'm using i like to use this kind of stem or uh, with the wording i like to collect this kind of stem i have a lot okay my collection so this one we call acrylic stem and you also can use this kind uh 
um, this one is a um, wooden stamp. I like to collect this kind. You can also use, you see, all the with the wording, then will be very nice um, as a background. So, uh, I, I like to use this brown color stamp pad, okay? But this stamp pad is like oil based. It won't dry so fast. It takes, it's a water base, but it's water based but it takes very long time to dry so you have to leave it naturally dry for a few days before you apply varnish okay so you just dab lightly on the stem you no need to press too hard just a light touch Even though you blow with the hair dryer, it won't dry also immediately. It takes time. Okay, so you need some time to let it totally dry itself. Then only you apply varnish. So I will put a, on a flat surface, a uh, flat surface. Then just put on top. Press lightly. Don't press too hard. If you press too hard, it will smudge. Okay. It will smear. Okay, then lift up. Okay, then if you see you don't like here, never mind. You just use a wet tissue to clean it because we already protect with the varnish just now. Just clean it. Those uh, places that you don't want to see the stem, okay, like the wood here. It can clean easily because you're already protected with the varnish. So if you need some more here, can I just dab again? Where is my okay? Maybe just a little bit. Mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Also like touch. Done. So you blow dry. Even though you blow dry, you still have to wait it naturally dry for a few days before you apply varnish. So you can leave it like that for two or three days. Then you apply varnish uh, two layers to protect the whole surface. Then this one you just wipe off. Wipe off to just clean with the wet tissue. Okay, see? Very simple project that you can finish in 10 minutes. Thank you for watching. Happy trying!